Hello everybody, it's Andrew Hutchings here. And this video is, n I don't need to say the I'm not a doctor part. I am a doctor, I'm just not a licensed physician. Um, yeah. <laughs> this video is about what kind of shape is the most desirable by the largest number of girls or women, whatever you want to call them. Now obviously, people are individuals. Everyone has their own taste. But to make a generalization, girls like guys that are fit, lean. They don't like when you have excessive body fat. They don't like when you have excessive muscle. In other words, they don't like when you have excessive body mass, regardless of what that mass is from. Not special lighting or anything. <laughs> So uh, yes, you don't need to get really huge, you don't need to take like half a gram of testosterone plus half a gram of Trenbolone a week and get gigantic. You just need to make sure that your body fat is like 12%. If you have 12% or so body fat, you're going to get lots of chicks. Obviously you need to have some muscle, you don't want to just look like a twig who uh, accidentally, their back's gonna just fall over because you have no muscle supporting you. And you don't wanna look like you're gonna fall over if somebody pushes you a little bit. But you do not need a lot of muscle. So just make sure you diet and go to the gym and you don't even need to push that hard. Just stay in overall pretty decent shape with low body fat and some muscle. If you can't see your abs, you are most likely too fat. It's not that girls have an obsession with abs, but they have a thing for guys that have body fat that is low enough for their abs to show. Uh, I haven't worked on abs much in like almost 10 years. I still have pretty decent abs, but especially like 10 years ago when I would work on them a lot, they would always show, even when I had like set, probably 15% body fat, because the muscles underneath were big enough. Now that's not the goal. The goal is not to just have so much muscle that your abs always show. The goal is to have a low enough body fat that your abs show low enough body fat that you see some striations in muscles. Not because you're so big, just because you're lean enough. You gotta look like, I mean, you, optimally you should be able to run a few miles, but you gotta look like you could run a few miles. Not like someone who's gonna struggle to run a single mile. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the optimal amount of muscle for most girls. Um, you'll probably actually like deter girls by taking steroids. Not only does it get you further away from the optimal body type, but also if your muscles are too big, they think you just spent too much time in the gym. They think you have some sort of mental problem. Now, spending a lot of time in the gym is not a mental problem, but I'm just saying what I've heard. I hope you like this video. Check out my other videos. I know I got off the topics of fitness and stuff lately. Just because I've already made like probably 180 fitness health science videos related to those things, but usually like fitness centered health and science around the fitness. And I don't want to just keep repeating myself. Like I don't like making repetitive videos and I don't want to make stupid videos. And I don't really want to just make reaction videos like some people do. I like making good original content. Now I got a comment recently, it's hilarious. Someone was telling me how stupid I am with my More Place More Dates video and that he watched that video just right before he watched mine the other day. And More Place More Dates did not say that you get, you lose part of your dose, blah, blah, blah. 
who was really hilarious about that and he said I should make original content, blah, blah, blah. Besides the fact that I have 200 videos of original content and that video itself was original content because nobody said what I was saying in that video. Um, it seems like more plates, more dates took down his video. Now, I don't know if he manages his own YouTube anymore or someone else manages it for him. Back when I made that video, I actually commented on his saying what I said in that video, but in like two sentences. And my comment was pinned for a while. But now I can't find that video anymore. Probably because long before I even made my video, he realized that you do not get the wrong dose using a normal syringe of steroids. Arm's getting tired. And he probably just forgot about his video or something that he said something that he realized later wasn't really correct. And maybe he saw my comment and then decided a little bit later to delete his video. I don't know. I like his stuff. He's not stupid, so he obviously knows that you don't get the wrong dose using a non-insulin syringe. I actually made a second video on that because I got so many hate comments on my first, but I just, I hid that video. And then I got hate comments on the second video. People have meant, you know, it's really a mental problem, not going to the gym all the time, but watching someone on YouTube and idolizing them and thinking that they have to be right 100% of the time and that they can never be wrong. And that if you say anything that points out that they're wrong, that you are horrible, that you hate them and you're stupid and blah, blah, blah. It applies to more than just YouTube. And it is really uh, worn away at people using logic and intelligence. People just go by their emotions now. They get emotionally attached to ideas and people. And if you say anything that goes against it, regardless of whether it's factually based and logically sound, they cannot stand it. They have an emotional breakdown reaction and start screaming at you. Especially here in the United States. Logic and reason, no, oh, no, no, that's not good. They like science. I think I've said enough, so check out my other videos. Give it a like and a subscribe, a comment to help the algorithm. It's funny as people that hate on my videos are actually helping my videos by commenting. And um, yeah, you can check out my Instagram, natural underscore true underscore fitness. There's some nice water there, but not so nice that I'd want to go in it because it's dirty. And you can check out my website, andrewhutchings.org. I decided to pay a group of Indians uh, to make my website because my Ukrainian guy could not get it done. Yep. Just could not get it done and there were lots of problems. I actually paid him for a different website before my fitness website and he couldn't get that one done so I just told him to transfer my payments over to my fitness website but he couldn't get that one done either it's not hateful to say that he couldn't get it done it's not worth paying him to make a website it's just called the truth so this group of Indians or Asians I don't know who all works for them what the guy I talked to is Indian I think their address is in India they are getting my website done very quickly so probably within a few weeks I will have a completely done website that's fully functional. I mean, you would think if you call something done that it would be fully functional, but yeah, just got to make that distinction. Water is good. You want to know what workout supplements you need, you need water. Not that water, this water. And uh, you need a lot of it. That's what you'll get the most bang for your buck from. But occasionally, if you did a lot of running and sweating, you should drink a little bit of that water to replenish your electrolytes. 
do it like the Romans did and drink some seawater and some wine.